Many of my photography coaching clients come to me after using the Facebook ad strategy, and the problem is it's going to keep you hustling like crazy. So today I'm going to tell you why I would never recommend this strategy and exactly what you should do instead. Hey, boudoir photographers. Are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn, and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business, working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there, and welcome back. I have so many new photographers come into my world lately, and I'm so thankful for them, but it seems like they're all dealing with a similar problem. And it's a frustrating one for them, for sure. The thing is, there are photography educators out there who are teaching the million dollar Facebook ad strategy, and honestly, it's a great strategy. These photographers have very healthy businesses. The problem is they are exhausted. They're burnt out. They're tired of working to pay Facebook. They're tired of watching money go into their ad spend instead of being able to use it to take care of their families. They're tired of missing out on family time because they have to photograph more sessions to pay for this high ad spend. And these photographers come to me spending three, four thousand $4,000 per month to Facebook to keep their schedule booked out. Sure, they're bringing in $25,000, $30,000 and they're photographing clients all the time, all the clients they want, actually more than they want, hence the burnout. And that's the thing, this strategy forces you to hustle very hard. For every client that they book, they also have to do a client consult. So besides photographing so many clients, they're also spending hours on the phone or waiting by the phone, hoping a consult actually shows up. And I don't know about you, but I actually do hate doing consults, they're the worst. I feel like I'm constantly repeating myself, saying the exact same thing over and over and over and over again. And did I mention half the consults don't even show up? So all these photographers that come to me, they're wanting to wean themselves off this high ad spin. And it is possible, but it takes time. So what I want to do today is talk about what you should do instead of trying Facebook ads so that you don't end up relying on them your entire career. So the first thing you need to do to build out an organic marketing strategy that doesn't require Facebook ads is set the foundation of your business. What I mean by that is knowing and understanding what you need to make each month, and you need to know how many clients your schedule can actually handle. Here's the problem that I've seen with photographers coming to me after building their business using Facebook ads. They don't have this foundation set. And so what they do is just start booking a ton of clients and spending so much money on Facebook ads and they end up digging themselves into a hole. And it's a hole that they can't get out of because their business relies on these Facebook ads to survive. One of my clients was spending $35,000 a year on Facebook ads and only paying herself $20,000. It doesn't have to be like that. If she had set the foundation of her business first before working on her marketing strategy, she would have known that she didn't need as many clients as she was booking to begin with and that she probably didn't actually have time for the amount of clients she'd been taking anyway. And knowing this foundation will help you create a marketing strategy that works better for you. And by the way, I'm gonna link a YouTube video in the show notes to watch to set this foundation of your business in the easiest way possible. Be sure to check that out after this episode. All right, the second thing you need to do to build an organic marketing strategy that doesn't require Facebook ads is to know exactly who your ideal client really is. Now, here's the thing. Because you're already dependent on Facebook ads, we're gonna have to get very strategic while weaning off of them. With Facebook ads, Basically, you're throwing out this wide net and hoping to catch something, anything. You just need to catch something. You're targeting any and every woman and throwing more and more and more and more money at Facebook. And what you end up doing is catching all sorts of women. Some you're going to love working with. Some you're absolutely going to hate, even though they won't know that. But you're just getting all types of clients. And you've probably experienced this already. I know anytime I point this out in my DMs, photographers are like, you know, you're right, Tracy. There are some really great, easy clients who spend plenty of money. And then I have the clients who make me want to pull my teeth out. And those are usually from Facebook ads. Now, the thing is, when you start weaning yourself off of Facebook, you're going to have to stop targeting every woman and start getting super specific on who you want to photograph. I know, scary. 
I hear it all the time that photographers don't want to niche down to one type of photography, one type of photography, because they're afraid they won't book enough. If you're marketing to the exact right person, you're going to be speaking to them, things they don't even know about themselves. As photographers, it'll be with the images you post, but it's also going to be in your actual content. So for example, and I just had this conversation at our 6FS kickoff call, one of my photographers in the group calls, she actually had great intentions. She wants to photograph women who are curvier and they also are in the stage in their life where they want a confidence boost. And that's great, right? I think that's the reason we all start boudoir photography, right? The problem with this, it's very vague. It's kind of every woman, if we're being honest, sure, not every woman is curvy, but I've seen the most fit women with low self-esteem. And then some of my curvy clients are like super confident, you know? And I think every woman needs confidence. So instead of thinking that you want to photograph every curvy woman, let's shift your mindset a bit. What I want you to do is figure out who your person is, like as an actual person. So for example, what's her career, her relationship status? Where is she locally? Who is she doing business with? An example of mine. My ideal client is a woman who's 25 to 35. She's either engaged, she probably doing this as a wedding gift or she's married and it's an anniversary gift. She loves Calvin Klein vibes in photography and she's doing business with specific fitness trainers locally, med spas, bridal vendors. And often my first point of contact is and often my first point of contact is actually at the bridal fair. If she doesn't book for her wedding, she's on the email list and she'll eventually book her session for an anniversary gift. So do you see how well that I know her? I can almost always be walking in town and point out women who are my ideal client because that's how well I know her. And you need to know your ideal client this well as well. When you do this, you won't have to waste your efforts or your time or your money on Facebook ads because you're going to attract her so easily. Let's talk about that third thing that you need to do to build an organic marketing strategy that doesn't require Facebook ads. And that's to create a marketing strategy that actually converts leads into clients a lot easier than before. If you've been depending on Facebook ads, you've probably taken so many consult calls. Think about it. You're usually waiting for a client to show up for the call. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. How frustrating is it when they don't show up? I know how annoyed I get when I'm waiting around sitting on Zoom and the consult never shows up, especially right now because I have to actually leave the campground to go find Wi-Fi because it's just not very strong here. Like it's strong enough to watch TikTok. That's it. It's very peaceful. I'm not complaining, but it's just kind of a pain. So anyway, if I have to go that far out of my way and my consult doesn't show up, I would be frustrated. What if I told you that that isn't even necessary? It's kind of a waste. Instead, all you need to do is build a high converting website and that's a website that takes a lead, turns it into a client really quickly by answering the questions she has before she ever even asks them. Then all you need to do is drive traffic to your website. That can be in the form of networking events, vendors, bridal fairs, social media, SEO search engine optimization, blogging, email marketing, like all these things should be driving traffic to your website. And that website is built to convert leads into clients and answer any question that they would have in the consult, meaning they won't need to book a consult. Sure, some are still going to because they just want to see your face, know that you are who you say you are, but they're not going to feel like they need the consult. And the ones who book after your website is built, these are so much more likely to show up because they're pre-qualified. I honestly can't remember the last time I had a consult no show on me. And this strategy is exactly what I use and I've always used to keep my schedule booked months in advance. So if you get just one thing from this episode, I want you to understand that you don't have to use Facebook ads. You can create a business, a very successful business without them. And honestly, when you do create your business without using Facebook ads, it's going to be far more sustainable. I'm sure I've mentioned it, but after implementing this strategy, I hardly have to touch my marketing at all. In the past three years, the only marketing that I've done is one small bridal fair and my schedule stays booked out and I, I book enough to 
support my associate photographer as well. And that's why I created Six Figure Simplified, my group program. It's a high level group program for photographers. And I'm taking you through this exact strategy. The best part though, it comes with support. So step one is to simplify your business. And what we're doing is setting the foundations to make it easy to know exactly how you need to run your business. In step two, we're simplifying your sessions so that we can make sure that you're providing an epic experience for your clients. Step three, we've been talking about this strategy, but it's simplifying your marketing. And in this step, we actually implement the strategy with support because marketing is probably the biggest challenge most photographers have. Second is sales, but we cover that as well. And finally, step four is to scale to six figures and beyond. Your business needs these things to be successful and I'm here to help you accelerate the process. And if you're interested in this program, be sure to check the link in the show notes because I would love to have you inside. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. Please be sure to rate and follow so that you never miss an episode. They drop every Thursday and they're always full of super actionable information for you to apply right now in your boudoir business. Until then, make your next shoot your best shoot.